Hi, I'm Charlie from Merchant Automotive. We get a lot of questions as to what type of fluid is okay to run in your transfer case. Now, Eric, we hear of people using 5W30, and in some instances, they're even recommending to overfill the transfer case. What are your thoughts on that? Well, <clears throat> 530 is great for engine oil. A transfer case and an engine are, are very different machines. A lot of moving parts in an engine, a lot of moving parts in a transfer case. One thing a transfer case does have, especially the modern ones, is friction material in it, and the friction material is used as synchronization for engaging in uh, high range and low range and that type of thing. That's why you are able to engage four wheel drive when driving down the road in a modern transfer case. An engine, by comparison, has a lot of demand, but it doesn't have any friction material, and that presents a challenge that the engine oil just simply can't can't address. So, while it's great for an engine. And it will lubricate a transfer case, it's just not the right stuff. It doesn't have the properties we need. And as far as the overfilling it, to me that's just foolish. There's a recommended interval, or I'm sorry, recommended uh, capacity of, a, of, a, of any oil gearbox or, or device. A transfer case will vary by make. Most of the stuff that we deal with are going to be about two quarts. So it holds two quarts. A rear differential has a certain capacity. Engine has a certain capacity. And my question to that is, are you going to refill any of the other gearboxes or, or overdo the capacity on anything else? If an engine holds 10 quarts, you're not going to put 12 in it because that's harmful. A transmission has a capacity. You overfill it, that's harmful. A transfer case is no different. It's designed to hold what it's designed to hold. Overfilling it doesn't do any good. If it, if it seems to help something, well, maybe there's other issues going on. So... Really, 530 might work, <clears throat> but it's just not intended for this, and it's going to lead to other problems. So I would say stay away from engine oil. Okay. So others are running some ATF fluid. What are your thoughts on that? ATF is actually the factory recommendation fill for a lot of transfer cases out there. Uh, ATF does have the properties to deal with the friction material because it's similar to an automatic transmission. We need those type of additives that are going to handle that. Uh, ATF is also a good lubricant. It takes care of a lot of issues. One of the notable things that I've struggled with ATF and what I don't think it takes care of is driveline clunk. And a lot of driveline clunk can be, can be caused by friction on the splines in the slip yoke. So imagine the drive shaft coming out here. This is the main shaft of the transfer case. When the suspension cycles, this thing has to be able to slide, okay? We want to be able to have that to slide. So if you come to a stop and you feel a clunk, that's because the suspension is changing, the drive line is moving, and this thing is kind of snapping loose because these splines aren't lubricated. Now GM has come out with different procedures over the years. Early on, you take this out, you would put some heavy grease on the splines to lubricate that, and then they went away from that, and then they go to a, a plated yoke with a plating, a nickel plating. Well, the problem's still there. They're just trying to mask it over. The grease wears away, the nickel plating wears away, then the problem's back. Well, we need to fix the problem, and that's just this binding right here. Transmission fluid, while it does good for everything else, it still leaves us with this undesirable clunk in a lot of cases. So I don't feel that that's the best answer either. What I would recommend for any transfer case uh, is, is our transfer case fluid. I'm a little biased, let's be honest. What we've done is we've taken this fluid and we wanted to do three things. We want to lubricate the internal parts, we want to address the friction material, and we want to take care of these annoying problems like driveline clunk. Sure. So we've got modifiers in here that will address this. We've got the proper additive in here so that we're going to take care of that friction material so you get a nice, smooth, quiet engagement. And it's going to take care of the transfer case. It is a synthetic base with the good additives in it. And that's just all around going to fix all the issues. And it doesn't need to be overfilled. The transfer case holds, in a lot of cases, two quarts. So we've got this bottled in two quarts, one fill, no extra, and, and you're good. It still needs to be changed. About every two years, 50,000 miles, the hard thing with the transfer case is there's no... There's no dipstick to check. There's no light on the dash that says the fluid is low. There's no reminder that says it's time to change it. It's one of those hidden fluids in the, in the truck. And if neglected, 
can lead to a lot of costly problems. So it's definitely something you don't want to overlook. Anything in it is better than nothing in it. So if it's running dry, that's bad news. So any oil is better than no oil, but the, the correct oil is going to lead to good trouble-free life with no annoying side effects like driveline clunk or poor engagement or, or, or anything like that. So sure. Charlie, where can, where can our customers buy this fluid? Our fluid is available online or by giving us a call or through any of our dealers nationwide. Okay. Guys, if you have any questions on this, comments, input, I'd love to hear your argument either way for the other types of oil out there. Uh, keep it clean, but comment below and let us know what you think. I'm open to ideas and suggestions, but again, I wanted to share our input on this because we do get a lot of questions on it. So comment below. Um, like and subscribe, of course, too, so you can make sure you keep up with everything going on around here. Sometimes Charlie and I like to have fun, so thank you. Thank you.